Good afternoon. Today's video is going to show you how to remove this little arrow on an alias file. It's quite quick, it's quite simple, and if you want to get this alias symbol back to a normal one, we can. Right, we're in Finder, select Go, go to Folder, and put in System forward slash library forward slash core services forward slash core type dot bundle forward slash contents forward slash resources now that's quite a long complicated path I don't expect you to remember it or type it or try and interpret it from my video so it's in the YouTube comments so let go now a couple of icons down the list there'll be an item item called alias badge icon dot I C N S now this is the icon that actually controls that little icon you actually see on on sort of shortcuts and aliases. It's basically layers this icon on top. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename it. Let's say we'll put old in, and then we're going to hit enter. Now it's going to ask us for our password because we're changing a system file. Your Mac doesn't like you when you change system files, but we're going to do it anyway. Type in your password and click OK. It's renamed it, but nothing's happened. It doesn't know that it's been changed basically because it's loaded it into memory and it's left it there. So we're going to open up terminal. This is located in your applications utilities folder. Type in kill all finder with a capital letter and hit enter. Now it will reload and you will notice that the icon has gone. Now aliases now look like normal icons. Very simple, very easy to do. If you want to revert this trick to get the icon back, rename alias badge icon back to its original name, type in your password, uh, it was a really long password, hit enter. Once again, within finder, type kill all finder, or press your power if it's your pre last command used, and hit enter again. Now the icon will reappear, and you're good to go, and you're back to where you were before.